Welcome back. Today we will discuss an ACT math question. The link to this question is given in the description of the video. The question is, a bag contains 16 red marbles, 7 yellow marbles and 19 green marbles. How many additional red marbles must be added to the 42 marbles already in the bag so that the probability of randomly drawing a red marble is 3 by 5? You can use a calculator if you need to. So four answer choices are given here and we will have to pick up the right answer. I will suggest you to pause the video here and try to solve the problem by yourself. Hope by now you have already solved the problem. Now let us do it together. So according, according to this question, this bag contains 16 red marbles, 7 yellow marbles and 19 green marbles. If we add them up, 16 plus 7 plus 19 so 16 plus 7 plus 19 we get 42 so the question already mentions that that the 42 marbles are already in this bag now in this particular scenario the probability of finding or randomly picking a red marble is the number of red marbles which is 16 divided by the total number of marbles which is 42. This fraction can be reduced if we divide both by 2 so it becomes 8 by 21. So right now we have the probability of randomly picking a red marble is 8 by 22. But what we will have to do is we will have to add some additional red marbles so that the probability of randomly drawing a red marble becomes 3 by 5. Let us assume that we have added x red marbles to the bag. So now what will be the probability of finding or picking a red marble? So that will be the number of red marbles. So initially we had 16 red marbles and we have added x. So 16 plus x is the total number of red, red marbles divided by the total number of marbles. So initially we had 42 total marbles and we have added x marbles here. So 42 plus x becomes our total number of marbles. And they say, so this is the probability of picking up a red marble after the x marbles, x red marbles have been added. They already say that this equals 3 by 5. So we can just write this equals 3 by 5 and we will have to solve for x. So this is pretty simple as you might know. So we'll just have to cross multiply. So 16 plus x will be multiplied by 5 whereas 42 plus x will be multiplied by 3. So if we do that it becomes 5 times 16 plus x equals 3 times 42 plus x. So now we will just have to multiply like this and if we do that, if we multiply 5 by 16, what we get? 5 times 16 is 80. So 80 plus 5 times x is 5x equals 3 times 42. So what is 3 times 42? 3 times 42 is 126. So 126 plus 3 times x is 3x. Now if we subtract 3x from both sides, we get 80 plus 5x minus 3x equals 126 plus 3x minus 3x. Right? So we can write 80 plus 5x minus 3x is 2x equals 126. Why? Because we can plus 3x and minus 3x is 0. So we can just cancel them out. So we can only write 126. Now let us subtract 80 from both sides. So if we do that, it becomes this. Here again, this is positive 80 and this is negative 80. So they cancel out because it becomes 0. So we get 2x equals 
126 minus 80. Let us find out what is that. So 126 minus 80 is 46. So here we can write 46. Now let us divide both sides by 2. 2 times 2 is 1. So 1, one times x is x. So we can write x equals 46 divided by 2 is. So 46 divided by 2 is 23. So we can write x equals 23. So we assume that x additional red marbles have been added to the bag. So and that equals 23. Let us just find out which answer choice is the right answer. Yes, so B, 23. So this is the correct answer. We can even verify it just by doing this that so we have added 23 red marbles. So the number of red marbles in the bag is 16 plus 23 and the total number of marbles it was 42 before and we have added 23. So what is that? So 16 plus 23. So 16 plus 23 is 39. We can write 39 divided by 42 plus 23. So 42, let me just see, 42 plus 23 is 42 plus 23 is 65. Good, 65. Now we can reduce this fraction. Both 39 and uh, 65 are divisible by 13. 13 times 3 is 39 and 13 times 5 is 65. So we have validated and proved that if we add 23 red marbles, the probability of randomly drawing a red marble becomes 3 by 5. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Sarkar Research and Education. Here I post videos on test prep questions. It includes math questions from SAT, PSAT, ACT and STAR test prep. I also post AP Biology and AP Chemistry question. Go Maap Sumida. See you in the next video then. Happy learning.